Good morning, it's another beautiful, gorgeous day. As we review through the Parsha, when we receive the Torah, Moshe Rabbeinu went to Shammai 40 days, 40 nights. Also to the end, Hashem tells to Moshe Rabbeinu, go down. The Jewish people do not deserve to get the Torah because they are sinning right now. They had a golden calf, Avodah Zarah. They lost the faith, trust in me, Hashem said. Moshe Rabbeinu, had a choice to leave the Torah in Shamaim or to bring it down. Moshe decided to bring it down because he did not believe. Hashem is telling him that the Jewish nation have sinned. They are doing golden calf. They do not deserve the Torah. Moshe Rabbeinu said, when gossiping, not gossiping, anything against the Jewish nation, even Hashem is telling you, Moshe said, we do not believe till I see my own eyes. Moshe, as Moshe was coming down, what does he see? He saw the people, golden calf, Avodah Zarah, they're dancing, drinking, and making suda. Moshe broke, broke down the Luchot. Lesson number one. When we hear Lashon Ara, somebody speaks about another Jew, we should not accept it. A lot of times it could be exaggerated. A lot of times it could be because out of hatred. A lot of times because uh, people don't like something. Here yeah, Hashem himself is speaking to Moshe. Moshe said, I don't accept it till I don't see what my own eyes. A lot of people cannot, start to, some people cannot find jobs. Somebody spoke Lashonara about them. Can't get a job. They can't start a family. They can't grow in life because somebody years ago spoke Lashonara. They'll be responsible for it. That's lesson number one. Lesson number two. Moshe Rabbeinu of the Luchot. If you learn through the history, did Moshe Rabbeinu ever go back to that thought? Why did I break the Luchot? Imagine a month later, a week later, a year later, ten years later. Why did I break it? It wasn't nice. What would people say about me? What would people think about me? Why did I do that? He didn't even come back to that thought. He understood it wasn't right, but he didn't get stuck in that thought. A lot of times, we get stuck in the past. Why did I say that? Why did I do that? It wasn't right. What people going to say about me? What people going to think about me? Most of the time, life goes on. If you could fix it, fix it. If you could do something about it, do it. If you could change it, change it. Moshe saw that his solution was that he got a new set of luchot. He had to, carve it. He had to make it himself. Then Hashem had to carve it out, the ten luchot, ten, ten commandments, and just move on on it. And nobody ever in the history came back to Moshe pointing fingers saying, Oh, Moshe, you have anger management. You need a therapist. You broke the Luchot. People came fighting Moshe Rabbeinu for other things. We see Atman of Korah came. Other people came to Moshe. They said, Badai, who Moshe is a thief. Moshe is a liar. They other things came in. But nobody ever pointed out, You broke the Luchot. You shouldn't have done it. It's not nice. It wasn't right. Or even his own family members. Imagine his wife would tell him, you know, Moshe, you have anger management. You need a therapist. You broke the Luchot. Certain things are not important to go back. We focus so much on the past. They cause so much Shalom Bright, other issues. We go back. You know what you said 10 years ago? You know what you did 20 years ago? You know what happened 30 years ago? People remember. And this is what drains us. This is what makes people drown. We cannot grow further because we're stuck on the past. And when you ask people, why are you saying that? Why are you bringing back what happened 5 years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago? Why are you hurting another person? No, I like to speak the truth in people's faces. No, 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 no. Don't cover yourself with a hashgacha, kashrut. No, no, no. You're not talking the truth. You have a hatred. Sinat chinam. That's why you're telling people all their mistakes. You are connected to Nachash, to the snake. Snake did not want to bite Adam Arishon or Hava. But I'm going to create a guilt feeling. That's what snake wanted to do. So many times we come over to people, you know, you did so and so and so, you said so and so and so. I like to speak the truth in people's face. I don't want to speak behind them. No, 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 no. You are Nachash, you're a snake. If you want somebody to change, only through Ahava, only through love, you could change another person, but not through making the person hurt, to creating a guilt feeling. So Rabotai, next time when we do something wrong, we're not perfect. Doesn't mean you should repeat it, but don't we don't dwell too much. And like Rambam says, you do tshuva, you regret, finish, you move on. And one of the steps of tshuva, you move on. Don't get stuck. Our problem is 
we get too much focus on it years and years and years and years I shouldn't have said it I shouldn't have done what people gonna say what people gonna think move on go on to the next level of serving Hashem everybody should have a great day